Alliance Defending Freedom has filed a lawsuit on behalf of pro-life advocates in North Carolina arrested for praying outside of an abortion facility in Greensboro. Members of the Christian ministry Love Life were arrested after police said they were in violation of the state's stay-at-home order that bans, quote, travel for a non-essential function. Joining me now to talk more about this are Justin Reeder, the founder of Love Life, and by phone, Denise Harley, legal counsel at Alliance Defending Freedom. Thank you both for coming on. Justin, I want to start with you. Love Life often ministers to people outside of abortion facilities. Were you at all surprised by the resistance that your members received from police? Yes, absolutely. We were there peacefully prayer walking, offering real choices, real help for those families. While honoring social distancing, we were under 10 people. We were 10 plus feet apart. We had hand sanitizer with us. And so, yeah, we were shocked that when they arrived, um, they began to write us tickets and they also arrested us. And when they wrote us that ticket, Tracy, they actually wrote illegal gathering of over 10 people, which was incorrect. There was only five people. They drew a line through that and but continued with the arrest and cited us for unlawful travel for non-essential things. So, yeah, we were shocked that uh, while abortion centers remain open with zero restrictions, they are restricting a Christian witness out there while honoring social distancing. Well, Denise, I want to bring you in on this conversation. As legal counsel for Justin and the members of Love Life, why was it important to file this lawsuit? Well, this isn't about public health and safety. This is about the government taking advantage of a crisis to silence speech that it doesn't like. Um, And no matter what kind of crisis we're in, a government cannot ban the First Amendment. But what we've seen here from the city of Greensboro is targeting of one particular Christian pro-life viewpoint that the city doesn't like, and, um, and it's unconstitutional. It's unfair under the First Amendment, and there's no place for religious hostility. So we're filing the complaint as a warning shot to not only restore love life's Uh, rights, but also to protect the freedoms of Christians around the nation who may want to do the same. Denise, do you think there's a double standard here? Oh, absolutely. Um, You know, if you look at the order that the city says it's enforcing, it allows people to go hiking and walking and picnic in the park and even go golfing. So why in the world would Love Life not be able to walk and pray on the public sidewalks when Love Life has been honoring the social distancing and public health and safety guidelines the whole time. It's absolutely nothing but targeting of a certain viewpoint. And what the city attorney told me was that Love Life should pray at home. Well, Denise, what are, what are the next steps in this case? Well, we're happy to hear that the county is allowing the order to expire tonight. And so, nonetheless, we're going to go forward with our complaint because any violation of First Amendment rights is worth fighting for in the courts. And Love Life has been deprived for three weeks now of its ability to pray um, and offer its ministry, it to speak freely, and to practice its religious beliefs. And it's been... Uh, subject to arrest, as Justin has mentioned. And so we're going to continue to pursue this. We're looking forward to a good court ruling that we can use to, again, not only restore love life's rights, but to send a warning shot to potentially other governments, local governments around the nation that might want to target pro-life views in this very unconstitutional way. Justin, quickly, I want to ask you, what's next for you and what's your message to other pro-life advocates who may be watching this? Yeah, we continue on with uh, our, continu- our our same mission. We're there to offer help and resources to families that are hurting. Uh, if abortion centers remain open, we must be there as a Christian witness. This is the time for the church to rise up, not to coward in fear, but for us to be present. We're, we are called to love our neighbor as ourselves. That's the born and the preborn. So let us be present if abortion centers remain open. All right. Well, thank you so much, Justin. Justin Reeder, founder of Love Life, and Denise Harley, senior counsel, that is, with Alliance Defending Freedom. Thank you so much, both of you. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks again for sharing the story.